He wasn't faking it on the back of Robert's wheel. It's just Robert's left. They're into the final climb up in towards the village. She's done that right hand turn. She's going to come around the left hand turn. Even our juries are getting excited here. They love a great race finish and that's what we're going to be treated to. Can she hang on? Jess Roberts currently sitting there. The under 23 rider comes around the right turn. She's coming around the left hand turn into town. Here she comes. In third place, taking the bronze medal, is Anna Kay of Story Racing. Second place, Helena Dickinson of Team Breeze. <laughs> and in first place, your under 23, 2018 HSBC UK National Road Champion, Jessica Roberts of Team Breeze. Champagne will be presented by Frank Sleming, Chair of British Cycling. Get their hands in the air, put your hands together for your top three, your medalist here at the HSBC UK National Road Championships. Your under 23 bronze and medalist, Anna Kay, the silver medalist, Helen Nixon, and your under 23 National Road Champion, Jessica Roberts. <laughs> Let's give those bottles a good shake. Come on, you know this score. Never mind just saving it all for drinking later. Fred's got it. He was hoping he could take the win at 50, potentially. So he's going to give it his very best. If you do, we've got to go to 52, remember, and neither of us can jump 52, Brett. So let's see. Can we get Brett over 50? Fingers crossed. Can he do it? To keep the competition alive? Of course he can. Do you want to go higher? No. <laughs> Do you want, should we try? Yeah. We'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah. So we've literally run out of bar. 
and uh, fingers crossed one of us will get it. It's one of them things, we're actually sort of starting uphill, we're taking like an inch off or whatever, you know, it makes it a little bit lower, but it's paying us in funny old ways, and I've already lost my pedal once and tweaked things, so hopefully one of us will get it, we'll try our very best for you, this will be the last chance because we haven't got any bar left, let's see if it works out for me, here we go. away from the speakers. <laughs> so I just, I got my timing wrong and everything there. That was pretty awful, quite frankly. So, trying my best, couldn't get the power down, couldn't get the timing right. Brett's over there doing yoga. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you can pull it together. So hard to get it right first time. The more you push your tire into the slope, the more it pings you. So you've got no real knowledge of how it's going to affect you. Let's see if we can just give him a little bit of more job. In his own time, he'll give his best. 52 inches, 5 inches above that record to win the competition. If we can make it that time, make some noise for their headphones. Brett <laughs> likes the slope. He hasn't got a heavy microphone in his head, just point that out. But uh, a valiant win, so we'll give him a little golf clap for winning the funny off comp. And then he can have first go on the ladder, so this ladder here. It's, uh, it's nice and stable at the bottom because it's nice and small. But as you climb up, it stays narrow, it starts to get high, it starts to move about quite a bit. And at the very top, it's just happy to fall over, you know? So you've got to be very much on balance. Thinking about yourself, you know, your balance as you're on your bike and how your bike balances, but also how that balances as well. So if it'll get on, and he knows if his front tire is on the ladder, his back tire has to be safe. Just get composed, stay in the middle, push that front tire to the next level. And fingers crossed when you get there, you don't make any big moves and you keep everything still and calm. Let's see if we get right up to that very top of the I'm going to feel for how wobbly it is and it'll come down the side. I'm going to feel okay. Right. That was the first ride since we moved it, so let's see if I can get on here as well. And I'm just going to use the same technique as Brett to climb up. But if I get to the top, I've got nowhere for my front tire to go. So I've got this challenge of wheeling off the end. It's a little bit naughty. So let's see if I just pull it together. This is where my commentary goes out the window. So I won't talk, I'll just jump. And if I land, just, uh, just make a little bit of noise. I'm not scared, let's see if it works. Let's see if Brett can do it the hardest way then. I'm going to try and just uh, do it on the back tyre. It's like a kamikaze run, you've just got to pop all the way up. It actually feels really easy when you get it right. But uh, because you're not stopping, because you're not taking your time, it can go wrong very quickly. So he'll get on the back tyre, he'll ping his way up the ladder. And uh, it'll either go very smooth and look dead easy, or we'll get it wrong, it'll topple over. Some of this sharp metal and just slice his face. He'll probably die. So, best not to think of that. Let's see if he can get himself all the way up and off the top. Hopefully making it look easy. If that does work out, make some noise for him. Okay. Anything else on there? No, thank you. <laughs> Let's have a look at getting on the van then. So the last time we got on the van, it went a little bit messy. In the first show where Quite a few things went wrong. But let's see if we pull it together a little bit here. So I'm gonna get up here. Which is a one minute leap and then I've got to repeat it. But along this tiny little ballast beam that really wants to push me down now. So fingers crossed I'll end up on the van roof. And stop it before I shoot it off the other side. Let's see if it works. There you go. Oh God. Just bad. It's wobbly. Um Oh my days. Okay, so my last biggish trick of the show. Uh, be lovely if you could join in with a countdown from five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's get um, Red to go on the van. He's going to have a little 
and that's dried up. And at this point in the show, we normally get a volunteer out. Uh, it needs to be a grown man for reasons that will become very obvious. So no kids. Any blokes willing to come out and give us a hand? Sound man. Is that alright? That's my PA system. <laughs> you have to be next to this one and he's pretending to be on the phone. Is that what's happening? A member of the audience. Do you want to select one? Guy in the black shirt. He's, he's got two children with him. Are you willing to come in? Is that alright? You're very kind because we could have been here for hours. If you wouldn't mind just doing some sort of impressive commando roll over there while everyone's watching. Perfect. Let's give him a hand for coming out. Very brave. What's your name, Miss? Marshall. I'm again, pleased to meet you. Would you mind lying down? Just lie down here for me. On your back, ideally without the sun in your eyes so you can see and I can see the fear in your eyes. Good? You can keep them open. You're very relaxed. <laughs> very nonchalant. Would you mind putting your legs together and your arms? Yes, that's good. So I'm just going to try and jump over you. Just because I don't know you, you could be like super nervous or high as a kite. You know? I don't know. So I'm just going to try and scare you with some simple tricks and then we'll, we'll see if Rep can jump over you. So, stop that blowing over. I'll just jump over you. You've got to stay very still. Happy? Yeah, eyes open. Oh, you alright? <laughs> very still. Here we go. That's the tent. Oh my dears! That was close! Well done, he's not running away yet. So we'll uh, get past this speaker. I'll just try and get over your legs. So we'll keep them very still. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Did that hurt? You okay? Alright, let's make you nervous. Can I get in here? Let's open these up a bit, please. <laughs> Prize them apart. Prize them apart. <laughs> Can we open them up? Please, I feel like we're friends now. Come on. Just a little bit wider. Wide as you can. Wide. Wide. That's it. Okay. So no flinching. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was well held. Are you happy to go on? You all right with that, Brett? Perfect. We've never tried this trick before. We're waiting for someone like you to come alive. Let's give him a hand for passing the test. If you wouldn't mind jumping up, we'll just go to Brett and we'll do a quick, impressive trick. To finish. If this goes wrong, you can blame them. Okay, so we're going to lean back on your elbows so your head's out of the way and everything. Down onto the elbows. That's great. Alright, and then if you could twist this way a little bit. This is very precise, isn't it? And then legs flat, just as wide as before. Yeah? Okay. So Brett's just going to be up there on his little two-inch wide back tyre trying to aim on top of this drink, Scott. We'll put it right in front of you so you get the best view. So he's going to try and land there with the bottom of his wheel, obviously. So the curve of his wheel is quite large. It might feel close, but he's all the way out there. You stay still, you'll be fine. Whatever happens now, everybody's entertained, you know? I always put it in the wrong place. It's my fault. Sorry. Sorry. This is my fault. Don't blame yourself. It's not on you. A bit closer. Oh my god, he's swearing. <laughs> this weird touch. That was a millimetre out of the move Now it's perfect. So you stay super still? You happy? As happy as you could be. But the final trick of the show was a Martin. It was Martin, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll get behind Martin on the floor. One last time. Stay very still, Martin, and if Brett can hit that cup, make some noise for Martin! <laughs> thank you, mate. I couldn't get up quicker. So, thank you very much for watching this one, everyone. Take care for now. Two, one, away we go this Thank you.